Hey guys, what's going on? I got a new video for you. Uh, been working on this for quite some time. I haven't made a video in a while, sorry about that. But this is a 4-bit CPU in Minecraft with 4 bits of memory. Uh, this is just a sneak peek of the video. Uh, basically what I'm going to do here is take you through two of the other ones that I've built prior to this one. And when this one's finished, uh, I still have to hook up the display and uh, the some of the control panel. But I'm going to show you some uh, two of the older ones because they're finished and they're a little bit easier. This one's more compact and has uh, some of the newer ways to do things. Uh, but they're a little more complicated. So what I want to do is, you know, just give you a quick view of this one and then show you the other one. So if you guys hold on one minute, I'm going to pause the video and take you to the second one that I built. So I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, had to walk over to my older one. This is the second one that I built. This one's hooked up to a display, a seven segment display with uh, one on it. So this one actually will add up to 30 in hexadecimal. For those of you not familiar with hexadecimal, it goes 1 to 10 is normal, and then it starts to use letters, and basically it'll count up to 30. Uh, I'm not going to go through and explain exactly how it is, but I'll give you a quick example. Uh, let me shut all these off real quick, and then turn on the adding function, and basically I'll add 1 plus 2 plus 4, which equals 7 there it is there's seven and I will go back and uh, add two to it which makes nine and there's nine and then I will shut it off and these here these are for the other functions if you turn these functions on it's the uh, anding nanding and XORing and I'll get into that a little bit later and in, in other tutorials and explain to you what those are uh, these are functions that basically you use to make everything work and along the way as you do things like this you will use and I will get into memory and D flip flops and different ways to do this but for now I'm just gonna give you an overview of all three of the ones that I built so uh, give me a second and I'll be back and I will show you the first one that's hooked up to memory and uh, show you a little bit about it alright guys this is the third and final part to this video uh, this is my 4-bit ALU with five functions and four bits of memory this one does not have a seven segment display hooked up to it this one is just four torches which uh, displays the answer in binary and but it is hooked up to memory so I'm gonna give you a quick example of how this works uh, this one's the addition function I'm gonna turn it on and I'll go over and give you a quick uh, example of an addition problem which is one plus two plus eight and the answer is eleven which in binary is one zero one one and so as you see if I turn off one of the switches the value will change I'll turn it back on It's back to eleven and what I'll do is hit the load button which is also the reset button but for now I'll just hit the load button so now the value is held no matter in what happens until I hit the reset switch. So I can shut the addition off. I can come over and turn all the inputs off, which would take it back to zero. But since it's loaded into memory, it still holds the answer 11. And if I had more than one bit of memory, I could do this numerous times and go back and say if I had 11 in one memory bank and then 9 in another memory bank I could go while this was on I could click the second memory bank and then 9 would show up and then if I had nothing in the third memory bank I could click into the third memory bank while 11 and 9 is held in the first and second memory bank and do another problem or do another program or whatever I did which so this is actually ROM and you can actually use it as RAM too which would take you into the CPU but I'm gonna get into all that and so I'm gonna go over and click the reset switch and the value will go back to zero and there you have it guys uh, like I said I'm gonna get into this in much much greater detail in my multi-part 
tutorials that are coming up so if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, in the very very near future I'm gonna be posting many many videos I have tons of cool ideas for you guys and if you like what you see please rate comment subscribe and whatever you could do to help out it really really helps 